We're gonna hit them. Boom. Here we go. We can be hitting him. Super great, guys. As you can see, we're saving so many weapons. Hey, yo, yo, guys. It's me, Epsarik, and welcome back to Last Dinner Survival Noob to Pro Series Episode 6. So today, guys, we're gonna be going to Alpha Bunker and clearing third floor. As we can see, it's gonna be resetting in 45 seconds. And I forgot to click record button, and I crafted seven crowbars and six bows. And I'm gonna be showing you how to clear it third floor as a level 22 player so here we go peeps we are at alpha bunker and i just want to show you i sorted out that a little bit so i this is all my weapons that i have and if you might ask me how i got all that guys you just go outside farm iron and you can craft lots of lots of crowbars with that it's super easy and bow is the same just get some duct tape like i said in the previous episode if you haven't watched them how to get all that go to noob to pro playlist uh, it's in the description and watch everything from episode one how we were grinding and check all the tips there it's really easy you can get that i got all that by the level 22 guys it's super easy this is also all the food that i have so that's definitely gonna be enough guys for the third floor and these are the coupons that i have so today we're definitely gonna be able to open the green crate i'm not sure about yellow probably we're gonna be able to even to open the yellow crate but whatever let's enter the bunker passcode that um guys we opened it so let's get inside but first let's take some weapons i'm gonna be bringing some uh bows guys to show you how it's done with bows because uh, maybe you were not that lucky to get a lot of glocks from the green zones while you were farming for the alpha card so let's show you how it's done with bows to sad that i don't have any subblade maces subblade maces are really amazing but whatever we have a uh, skull crusher for that so better than nothing so we're gonna be using crowbars here it's gonna be so easy guys to clear a uh, third floor with crowbars like uh, some might say that they're expensive but just do a couple of runs to the iron area and you should be able to get enough ore and just smell that like i said you just have to farm a lot farm woods for the coal and iron for iron and that's pretty much it and you're gonna have a lot of stuff also kill all the deers to get enough leather so guys, uh, four more coupons and we're gonna be able to open up this crate and in this crate we're gonna get the uh, that hobo set as they call it. And it's pretty good, it's, and it's pretty good, it's gonna save us a lot of food. As for now, we're just gonna be wasting more food. Here we go guys, another green coupon already. Let's check it out, maybe we're gonna get a green coupon here in this bean. So there will be only two more coupons left and that's it. Also, I didn't show you that in the previous episode when we saved that overseer. He's gonna be over here now guys. Here we go, you can go here. We can talk to him basically and uh, here you can activate the hard mode bunker and here when after you clear with the hard mode bunker get enough points you can get the floppy disk from him and this is basically all the rewards at what levels you're gonna get and between these levels you're getting these floppy crates and here you can also modify your gun so just for those who didn't know let's go guys to the third floor i can do the second floor right now but i'm gonna be doing that the third floor just for the sake of education because this series are all about education guys so let's go to the third floor so here we go the third floor is definitely a bit harder than the second floor there's more enemies you need to uh, use more stuff but super easy guys soon we're gonna be able to get enough green coupons and we're gonna get a different set so let's try to open it up and uh, okie dokie couldn't even do this so let's start hitting that and let's just keep healing they're gonna do a lot of damage, guys, but don't forget to heal. We do have enough uh, stuff to heal here ourselves. Just like I said, guys, don't forget to take enough carrots. Otherwise, oh my god, they do 13 damage with this set. Oh my god. That's actually a lot of damage, guys. We're gonna see how that's gonna work. Oof, zero red, uh, zero green coupons for me. What? Guys, we already use a lot of carrots. Oh my goodness. So, and there's also a couple of rooms on the third floor that you shouldn't be clearing. I'm gonna be showing all that. First, you can sneak through, through the back here. If, if here, if you had a katana or another weapon, it would be great. The best thing is to use katana because it does 105 damage, so it's super efficient. But at the same time, you can use here your skull crusher. And at the same time, you don't trigger this toxic abomination. So, let's take your crowbar and again, hit this. Click auto. Now take this and keep hitting him with the crowbar, guys. As you see, we kill them super easily and quickly without almost any troubles. Here we go. Green coupon. Oh my goodness. They keep giving yellow coupons. Well, yellow coupons are great as well. And we are level 23. So that's good. Again, from this, we can come and take that. Boom. And they didn't see it. So let's take back the crowbar. Oof. One more green coupon, baby. Oof, guys, 20 green coupons. We're now we're gonna be able to go down there and open up the green crate. But I think maybe we're just gonna break our armor and we're gonna go there after our armor breaks. So I just wanna show you how it's done with the bow because uh, I haven't done... Uh, I'm not that pro at bow because you actually have to know how to use it. You have to practice a bit more to do the perfect damage. So don't judge me if I'm bad because I haven't played with bow like for half of the year. But I know that it's possible. All you have to do is just do like this. And you're basically gonna be able to kill him. Oof. If you hold too much, guys, you're gonna miss it. But if you do exactly properly, you should be able to... Did they nerf bow? I think they actually nerfed the bow. I think 6 damage is max that you can do. 
they did actually nerf the bow guys Oof. But as you can see, it is possible to finish it off with the bow. But they definitely nerfed it. So here, be careful, because usually by that time, we can kill him, except here. They did nerf the bow, I think, before we could have done 18 damage or something. But whatever, we still can finish them off. Okay, we can do 7 damage, I guess, max with the bow. But still, guys, that's possible. You will just need more resources. So if you don't have guns, definitely suggest that you use this. So when we will be close here, guys, I'm gonna go back. Uh, let's go back, peeps, to the first floor. He's just gonna disappear because I'm not really sure if we can run away here in the circle. Probably we can, but I don't want to risk it, guys, because he's just gonna one-shot me and I'm gonna die. So let's go back and let's come back and he's gonna respawn back at his area. So it should be okay. Let's get back to the third floor. And he already started moving back at us from his place. So we took 113 damage for him. Like, definitely, guys, with bow, it's way, way harder. Before, it was doing 13 whatever damage. Now, it's not really that great. But you still can kill, guys, frenzy giants with bows. So, if you don't have any guns, use bows. But in my opinion, you should be able to save a couple of glocks. There is an also a different way, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be people commenting on that, that you can do the wall trick. Uh, but in the beginning, especially uh, for the beginners, it's going to be pretty hard to do. And maybe in the future, that's even going to be patched. So, it's basically you hiding behind the wall and fighting him. But there's a big chance that you can get hit, so... You know what, let's actually try to lure him from here, guys. Very nice. He's just here, how am I gonna be getting out of there? If I won't be able, guys, to survive, I'll just start using my Glock. Because I maybe failed. Probably I did. I don't think there is a way how to escape it. Oof. I don't think there is a way on how to escape the frenzy giant now guys So I'm gonna be using a bow because he'll just be killing me Maybe there is a way on how to run from here, but I'm not gonna risk it. Let's kill him with the bow now uh, with a Glock Almost died Well, whatever why I killed him here with the with the Glock because uh, he would just corner me I can't go there because there are zombies and I can't run away I uh, maybe I could have just dodged him like this, but you know what guys uh, don't do this as you can see You can kill him with the bow. It just takes more time So I'm gonna be going in this room after I opened the green crate So maybe we're gonna be opening the green crate after but firstly, let's go here and let's keep shredding more people So as soon as this breaks because uh, even if I get that if I open green crate I'm gonna get a better set even with that set. Uh, I won't be able to save uh, a lot of armor I mean that armor is not gonna last too long. It's gonna break soon. Here we go, boom, boom. So as soon as this armor breaks, I'm gonna be... Maybe let's go there now. Let's actually, guys, go and let's open up that set now. So that we can progress further in the bunker. So here we go, peeps. We're gonna be opening the green crate. Let's open it up. Let's change the set now because it's gonna be... We're gonna save some more stuff. And we got another Glock from the, from the set. So let's firstly equip all that. Let's take this other Glock. Plus we got a crowbar. This is just amazing. This is just Christmas, guys. Let's go. So now we're gonna be able to go and clear that harder room. Let's firstly take more carrots. Should have probably taken more food with me because... But yeah, this room is actually gonna be pretty hard. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, three zombies only, so not that hard. Well, let's start killing the fast bitter. As you can see, they're doing way less damage. With that, without this set, guys, we would be doing... Uh, we would be getting way, way more damage than we do now. So this set is pretty cool. Oof, we ran out of that. Well, let's take another... Uh, another another uh, crowbar just guys don't get lost when you uh, when you get it Make sure that you have enough health to open your backpack and get another glo another crowbar and you're just gonna survive Here we go. Let's take this more thick cloth the glass is good a thick cloth is gonna be useful Maybe to craft these sets after but like I said the point is is for us is the most important to open couple of first crate and couple of first crates and after that we're gonna be having enough resources from the bunker itself to do to do bunker runs if you do it properly so so we're gonna be breaking that uh, bow now once again let's take the bow and let's take here another bow okay that weapon broke it's not the best way to kill frenzy giants it's really really slow but as you can see, guys, it is totally 100% possible. Just don't get stuck with the Frenzy Giant. So here we go, guys. We dodged that Frenzy Giant once again. Very nice. And I think after here, I'm gonna start shooting him with the Glock once again. Because that's gonna be faster. But if I got Glocks at level 22, then you should be able to have that as well. And if you can't have them, then just go to either to airdrops or farm a little bit more in green zones. You can find that too. So let's keep shooting them. And Glocks are really amazing. Look at that. He just got destroyed. Another red coupon. I'm not... I'm pretty sure, guys, we won't be able to open up the red crate today. Red crate is the best you can get here for uh, guns. So that's just 
amazing, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get that. Also, I'd seriously suggest you, even if you have, for example, Glax, but if you are, if you have some troubles uh, clearing Alpha Bunker and if you keep running out of guns, then I seriously suggest you craft a couple of bows. You can save some. You can save some shots from Glax, and they really add up every time. And plus, if you have Sawblade Mace, then it's gonna be even better. Here we go. Let's go. If you have a few saw blade maces, then uh, you'll be able to save even more guns on these frenzy giants because you can do like 135 uh, crit damage to them. So again, firstly, here's the toxic spitter, guys. Don't forget to equip another weapon. If you have here a, a katana, it's gonna be better because it'll do 105 damage. But at the same time, guys, look, we smashed him and this toxic abomination didn't attack us. So we can go once again from the toxic abominations back and we can prepare to do the damage. Okay, and I hit him, I click the auto. And I start hitting him, guys. Pretty easy. Well, I keep running out of food. I'm pretty sure I'll have to get, uh, go back for the food soon. I'll definitely go for the food now. I mean, I still have 10 bandages. So maybe we're gonna survive with these 10 bandages. Let's actually take 10 bandages. And after that, we're gonna come back for more food. Because we keep uh, running out of it. Let's go to another side. Like from... Let's just hit this Toxic Abomination, guys. With the Skull Crusher. Now we're gonna be running away from them. Let's run away from them. Let's take a crowbar. They're pretty fast, so you gotta make uh, make sure that you take a little bit of distance so that you can take this crowbar. Very nice. So now they're gonna come here and we will start hitting them just like that, baby. So below 60. Here we go. I'll start healing now. I can't believe we're actually clearing the third floor on level 24, guys. It's so easy. A lot of people think that it's pretty hard to do that third floor, guys. But if you take right tools with it, it's easy. So make sure that you take the right tools. And that's it. Well, I'm gonna go back to the first floor now because as you saw, I brought lots of uh, carrots and some jerky beef in order to have some healing items to clear third floor. So if you don't have healing items, don't try to do Alpha Bunker. It's gonna be super hard. This was my mistakes when I, this was my biggest mistake when I started playing in Alpha Bunker and Last Day on Earth because I didn't know that I have to have enough food. I tried to do somehow Alpha Bunker without food and it's basically guys impossible you need some food and also from these crates we can get like uh, some med kits and one bandage some jerky beef as well which is really really sweet so let's get rid of the med kit let's take another crowbar probably we will still have to come back for more crowbars but crowbars are really mm, they already got nerfed i think before crowbars did 27 damage and now they do 26 damage so but still hopefully they're not gonna nerf them once again crowbars is still the best way to clear alpha bunker if you don't have guns and even if you have guns if you have time then you can clear alpha bunker with crowbars so another big tip that i I didn't say is would be do not do third floor before you open the green crate because after you open the green crate you can get this dad set and with a dad set you can clear third floor more easy you can save way more food so definitely make sure that you open up the green crate first and after that go start doing third floor just like we did in today's episode so again if we had sublate mace we could do the crit damage but we can't so let's take glocks let's take uh bows and let's start shredding him I'm gonna do some damage to him with bows to save some glags because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some troubles after. But again, we can do that with bows too. So no problems. Here we go. Another Frenzy Giant, another red coupon. Very, very great. We'd love to get 25 yellow coupons as well. Would be dope. Probably we're gonna be able to get them after we clear the third floor. For now, we don't have enough guns to go in a hard mode bunker because you can go, you can activate the hard mode bunker and go to the third floor and kill their the blind one but for us now it's still a bit too hard we need the better set we need more armor and more food so that's gonna be pretty hard still six yellow coupons left and we're gonna be able to do this make sure to take crowbar and you can't sneak on them so don't even try but i keep always trying maybe one day guys maybe one day but always you never can sneak on them so unless i don't know something and there is a way on how you can sneak on them secretly here we go we shredded them but that's pretty easy this is basically you got the point peeps uh, let's activate the terminal now let's go here now these peeps are gonna come Let's start killing the Toxic Spitter. I know that we could separate them, but at the same time, I don't really know if that separation trick is gonna work in the future updates. So let's just show it, guys, one-on-one way. So you could actually run and go quickly behind this wall, and sometimes Toxic Spitter, uh, Toxic Abomination gets stuck over here, and Toxic Spitter comes, and you can just fight Toxic Spitter. But probably that's gonna be, be fixed in future updates, so we don't care about that. Let's shoot more Glax. Should have taken a couple of uh, bows. But whatever. Definitely make sure to kill all Frenzy Giants, guys. Because the point of doing Alpha Bunker is to kill Frenzy Giants. Because they give you red coupons. And red coupons are the best. Here we go. Another red coupon. Very nice. Still eight coupons. Still lots of coupons left. Let's try to open it up. The point is, my tip would be if he... You see, sometimes when you open, he can just uh, start punching you just like that. So, if that happens, go down. 
This is basically what I do. Go down. He starts following you to this. And as you can see, he's, yeah, he starts punching me here. So go to the top, open, open up. And that's pretty much it. And you don't get a hit. Because if you would open up that door when he's punching you there, you would get, you would die. Boom. Another level up, guys. Tw level 25. Uh, we're probably gonna be taking that uh, jacket after, but not yet, guys, because we don't need it now. I did another the nerfed bows before. They were not nerfed. And again, you can't sneak on them. Maybe if you have saw blade mace here, but again, not useful. It's pretty easy to kill them. Here again, guys, make sure to sneak and quickly go behind this wall and go straight away here. Just make sure to not do anything stupid. Don't stand up here. We go we behind this one. We can take again saw, uh, the, if you had saw blade mace better, but now let's do it with the skull crusher. Auto, let's bring the crowbar. And now let's get out of there to not fight close to the Frenzy Giant. I don't like fighting because, yeah. I don't like fighting close to Frenzy Giant because what if we're gonna just trigger him? Let's take now back the Glock and let's start shooting Frenzy Giant. It's super sad. We're using a lot of weapons because we don't have any saw blade mace. If you at least had one full saw blade mace, you would save so much guns, guys. You do 130 damage, so that's like, that's like six, seven shots. But we don't have that, unfortunately. But whatever, guys. In yellow crate, we're gonna be able to get two more guns. So we're definitely gonna be able, guys, to clear the, the, the third floor. Another Frenzy Giant. And again, you could sneak on him. For those who don't know if you had Soul Blade Mace, you can sneak on him like that. You go around this. You go around these barrels. And you basically punch him here with a Soul Blade Mace from the back. But we don't have Soul Blade Mace, so we're gonna start shooting him from here. I will have to go back, guys, and take more uh, Glocks if I have any, or and take more bows because I can't progress further in the Alpha Bunker. Basically, Bunker resets every two days, so I have two days in order to gather enough resources to do second and third floor. Because for now, guys, fourth floor is pretty hard, so do not try to do fourth floor if you don't have like full chests of firearms or something because that just that just takes lots of firearms guys and lots of resources and loot there is pretty cool you can there is a chance to get a steel plate so loot is pretty good but at the same time guys not worth it especially for the beginning levels i think if you're not there level 99 there is no need to go to the fourth floor but i don't really know if you have a lot of guns you can go there just basically it all depends from your resources so yes indeed we do have two more glocks so let's take these glocks and let's also take a bow guys in order to save some space let's get rid of these baked beans and also i didn't mention this but there is a turret guys do not fight it it doesn't drop any amazing loot and for that you need to have a firearm like you need to have an assault rifle not a glock or a glock with the eliminator sight modification at least in 1.8.6 so do not try to fight that turret it doesn't do anything and i'm walking guys from the right side because if i walk here from the left side uh, turret will start shooting at me so always make sure to go from the right side i think i didn't mention this and if you're playing that for the first time yourself you're gonna get shot by that turret so go always from the right side Oof, another yellow coupon. Very nice. Got three more coupons and we're gonna be able to get two more firearms. After the after we're gonna be done with the third floor, I'm gonna go and scoop everything from that alpha bunker with the empty inventory so that I take all these items home. Because there's a lot of batteries and batteries are definitely gonna be important in the beginning of the level. Because after we will be able to craft the recycler, uh, with batteries you can get some copper ore and... It's the best way to get copper ore for the beginning levels. And there's gonna be Francis Giant, so I'll open it up and start shooting at him. I forgot that we have a bow, so let's guys actually use a bow a little bit. I think if you're running low, if you have enough uh, guns, but you're still, you feel like you're running, r running low, definitely craft a couple of bows in the middle of that. Shoot Frenzy Giants in the middle of that, and you should be able to save uh, a lot, a lot more uh, guns. It's gonna add up. For example, for one Frenzy Giant, you might think that you're just gonna suck save 10% of Glax or something, but after 5, 10 Frenzy Giants, it's actually gonna add up and. After a couple of bunker runs, you're gonna see that you're gonna have more guns, so... Make sure to craft bows. They're not that expensive, just always make sure to pick up duct tape and have enough blanks. As you can see now, when the alpha floor is cleared, we have more space to use the bow. So that's not a big problem. You can almost kill full Frenzy Giant with the bow, but I don't have any more. So... Here we go, guys. We killed that Frenzy Giant. Very nice. Another red coupon. So let's go back. Again, make sure here to take that Skull Crusher. So do not use Skull Crusher for anything else. So let's make sure that we are not gonna die here now. Okay, let's click this. Boom. Okay, dokie. Let's take this. Oh my goodness, guys. I actually here lost a little bit. I told you to not do that. Uh, but I actually just did it. So make sure to take Crowbar. I didn't prepare another crowbar super quickly, so it's gonna be here on the down. I just panicked a little bit. Stuff happens, guys, in Alpha Bunker. So make sure to not panic completely. Don't lose the... 
sense, and yeah, here we go. But we survived, guys. Everything is fine. Stuff happened, so we're gonna panic and alpha monk a little bit. Even if after I played, like, this game for, uh, what, almost 12, 11 months now, even now, sometimes I just panic and I get lost. So, don't worry about that stuff. It's gonna happen. It's just your most important thing. Don't die. Start running away. They are not that fast anyways. Just start running away from them and think about, about your next step, and you're gonna survive. 25 yellow coupons, guys. That is amazing. Let's go over here. Once again, guys, another toxic uh, abomination that's gonna be here we go so we're gonna be bringing once again this boom we're gonna hit him boom here we go we can be hitting him super great guys as you can see we're saving so many weapons when we do that crit damage so make sure to save these skull crushers i think we're using one skull crusher for so much guys so and if you get a saw blade maze, that's even gonna be better. So we almost cleared, guys, third floor, because there's a lot of rooms that you shouldn't be clearing. And I'm gonna be showing you actually which ones you shouldn't be clearing. There's a lot of, and a lot of rooms that you shouldn't be clearing. And I'm definitely gonna show all of those. So basically, let's activate the terminal, and now we're gonna be able to come back to the floor first. Let's clear the last two zombies over here. Toxic bomb. Maybe you can sneak on him and do some damage with that, but I never did this, never risked it, so... That's it, we're almost out of uh, armor here anyways, boom. Let's take back the Glock, let's kill the Frenzy Giant. Plus we got a skill, guys, here, let's open up. Let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, okay, this is basically for now useless skill, don't really know what it does, so whatever. I mean, I know you can you get less damage by gas, but it's totally useless for now. Maybe it's gonna have some use in the future. Oh, nice, we got another Glock, very good, very good. So basically this room, guys, inside of that you can get a blueprint for your acid bath. But for now, at this level, I wouldn't suggest you going there, especially when you're level 26. You're not gonna get anything, couple of green coupons, maybe like one, two yellow, and that's it. And there's like what one two three four five. I guess there's five toxic spitters and they're gonna do a lot of damage for you So if you don't have a lot of food and for me like always guys, we're running low on food on this account So do not go there because you're not gonna get anything except a couple of coupons So don't worry about that, but we can clear this room Let's just make sure that we have enough stuff, but our armor might break so make sure that your armor does not break Let's take another crowbar because here we open and we sneaked, so that's nice. I think we're gonna be bringing this. Let's take this and let's start fighting that. Make sure to not die, guys. And that's pretty much it. If you if you didn't manage to sneak on that, then next time try to sneak a bit faster. But if it still doesn't work, you still should be able to clear this room. We're clearing this room just for the sakes of... Uh, killing another Frenzy Giant, because there's another Frenzy Giant. And as I said, Frenzy Giants are... In this game are really, really important. So there's, guys, another room that you shouldn't go to, which I'm gonna be showing right now, which is this room. Do not kill all these people because there's so many of them. I never clear this room on my, even on my high level account because they're just gonna chuck down through your armor. It's so many of them, never trigger them, but you can open this chest though. So make sure to open it up. You can get some goodies there. And again, get out of that room and don't even try to fight them. Do not trigger them because you're gonna be ripped, guys. That's gonna take, I won't be able to kill them right now with the stuff that I have. Let's open up this door and let's try to shoot Prince Giant. So here we go, another red coupon. And another yellow coupon. Very nice. I think I'm gonna pick all that after. We cleared full third floor. Almost full third floor. Just make sure to follow these steps and do not clear these two rooms. Because they are gonna be really hard for you to clear. They're gonna use so many resources, guys. Believe me. Do not even try to fight them and you're not gonna get anything from that. And there is no point to clear them. So make sure to not clear those rooms. And also there is a gas room, guys. So I can open it up and show you. Do not walk there or you're gonna die. Unless if you have a gas mask. And even with gas mask, you can survive there like for a couple of seconds. So... Uh, and loot in those chests is not really that great, so I never use gas masks to go in that room. Very nice. We could have managed to get enough uh, red cray red coupons, but obviously, guys, we're not going to be able to get red coupons because we just, in real, we just did one uh, bunker run because we cleared second th uh, floor once and third floor once. So maybe, maybe if I'll do now second floor and now third floor again in today's, maybe we're going to be able to open up the red crate because basically, you should be able to clear second and third floor in the span of two days. But if you can, then that's fine. Just grind more resources. I'm probably going to be grinding the second floor on the stream because I'm doing these series to show people how to play, not to just grind in low-level accounts. So, you see, guys, we got an AK. That's really great. Plus, we got this great set. And with this great set, the tactical set, we're going to be able to save so many, so many uh, food, so much food. So, 
let's just save it up. Let's take all that stuff. And we're gonna start bringing everything to the top. Just make sure when you're picking up the rest of the stuff, especially here in this area, make sure to sneak close to this wall because this is the room with lots of lots of zombies and you can easily trigger them if you run close to that wall. So I suggest you're just sneaking there. Otherwise, they're all gonna attack you. And, um... You got the point. You're gonna be sandwich. So here we go. I basically picked up all the loot from all these chests and alpha bunker. And this is what we got. I mean, pretty cool. Four batteries. That's, I think, the best loot we got. Plus some aluminum coils. I mean, I don't even want to bring too much stuff home because we don't have space. And I think for now, this is only the stuff that we're gonna need. So... Let's take it and let's walk back home. So as you see, guys, this is how you have to clear our third floor. We did it pretty easily at level 22. Craft some both crowbars and mwah, voila. Make sure to check out my previous episode on how to clear the second floor. Just click here on the first card. And also, if you didn't know, there is a full playlist on how to play this game when I started here from the beginning. Just click here on the second card and you're going to be able to open up that playlist. Also, I'm live streaming every single day here on YouTube and plus uploading videos. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss anything. On this channel, I played such games as Dying Light, Outlast, Subnautica, Gothic 1.